When you launch survey tools for BricsCAD, you're greeted with the Microsurvey Project Manager. From here, I'm going to launch this first project. When you open a project, you get the general configuration options. Here we can select distances, bearings, as well as our coordinate system, scaling, and plotting information. This project is in a local coordinate system, so instead of using this Washington North zone in the NAT83 state plane system, I'm going to clear that and use a local coordinate system. When we first open a drawing that's been sent to us by our clients for layout, the MS Tools ribbon, I want to launch the Drawing Cleanup Wizard. From the Drawing Cleanup Wizard, we can do things like delete hatch entities, remove images, bind external references, and purge unused layers and blocks. We get a summary of everything that was removed. Now I want to check the units. On the MS Coco ribbon, in the Calculate Lines section, I can choose a two-point inverse by picking points on the drawing. I can snap from one end of the foundation line to the other. We see it's a distance of 105 feet. This drawing is in the correct units. If it wasn't, I could use the Rescale Drawing Wizard to convert from inches to feet or any one of a number of other units. I'll cancel to close this command. Our clients have asked us to come to site to lay out some points on these footings, as well as on these concrete columns. I want to isolate. I'll use a right to left selection. I'll press enter. We've isolated the footing and the column layer. To add points to these, I'll add points to objects. I'll start with point 100 and I want the description set as the layer name. I can use a window selection to select multiple entities. By holding control, I can add to that selection set. Enter finishes off the command. On the MS Points ribbon, I can turn on our independent point numbers and descriptions to be able to easily identify which point numbers are where and what I've created. To add additional points, I can choose store and edit points, enter a description, s-col, and I can pick a point. By using our entity snaps, I can add as many points as I like and where I like. I'll unisolate to get all of our layers back. And now I want to add points to the grid lines by using the coordinate grid lines command. I'll isolate just the grid lines and I'll create points on the grid lines using the coordinate grid lights command. I'm using named grid lines and I want to use named grid lines as the point ID and I want to use a user-defined elevation of zero for these points. Okay, name of the first grid line in the series. We've been asked to start from H and work to M. So I'll type in H, press enter, select grid line H. Notice that we skip over I, go directly to J. So J, enter, K, enter, L, enter, M, enter, click. We're done with our letter, so I'll press escape to move on to the numbered grid lines. Grid line one, enter, click, two, enter, click, three, enter, click, and four, enter, click. Escape to finish, and create points at H1, J-1, K-1, H-2, J-2, K-2, dash three, and dash four. Excellent. So now I'll unisolate. We can see all of our points. 
And what I'd like to do is isolate just the point layer. Now that we have our points ready to go for stakeout in the field, MS Traverse, export file, export like an icon, can choose where I'd like to put it to in my documents exports folder, not the entire drawing. Okay. I can use a window selection to select all of the points. 43 points selected, enter. We've created those files. Directly from BricsCAD, we can upload that file I just created to Brixis 24 seven, where it can be directly downloaded to a Leica icon field controller. In my exports folder, all files, we've created an ASCII file and a DXF containing these points. Line work would be contained within the DXF. When we upload, I can mark this as approved. I can say ready for layout and upload. Now it's in Brixis 24 seven and is ready to download.